Welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. I'm doing a little bit of experimenting here um, on dust collection and uh, wind properties. So as you've watched a few of the videos, uh, a couple of people have commented, you, you really got to do something about dust collection and you're absolutely right. So I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting. experimenting. I do have a shop back and a theme baffle and so I'm okay with that technology. What I want to do though is uh, I happened to get a, my hands on this little turbine here. Um, I believe it's actually a blower for a child's um, outdoor toy. But, you know, I'm happy to know that, uh, first of all, this is not a toy. Quite clearly there. So, you know, this is a work, work machine for sure. Um, adult use only. Uh, so, you know, I think this might work. It actually does blow a ton of air. Problem is, it all blows out that nozzle really quickly. So what I'm trying to figure out is, can I diffuse this air? I want to slow it down here because what I'd like to have, you know, about 12 inches away is an air filter. So fundamentally what's going to happen is air will get sucked in here. This will go off to the theme baffle or the cyclone and dust collection itself. But the minute particles that come out of that mechanism are going to come shooting out of this nozzle. And what I would like to do is diffuse this to slow it down a little bit and then go through just a common air filter uh, that you would put like on a furnace, maybe a 20 by 20 filter. Um, Matthias Wendell had done a little experimenting with this and found that uh, the air was just blowing the, uh, the filter just couldn't handle it. So I, I thought, let me do a little bit of uh, experimenting here, see what I can find. So I've set up this little uh, wind turbine emulator. Yeah, whatever we want to call it. So just to, to see where the disturbance is as the air comes out of this fan. So let me turn the fan on and you'll see what happens. It, it's pretty obvious at this point. a lot of stuff coming out the middle. So what I'm going to do is put in a little uh, a curved piece in here, maybe a curved piece in here. I might just do one at a time, just to see if that will uh, divert a little bit of the air to one side or the other. Let's see what happens. All right, so here's a uh, piece of an Amazon box uh, cut into a, just a gentle curve, or well, cut into a square, and I put some tape on here to hold a gentle curve. So I can put it in this way and get a little bit of diffusion. Now I'm gonna put it in this way and see if we get a little bit more diffusion. Let's just see what happens. Nothing. We're going to try something else.
with my little experiment here. I'm trying a pool filter sock. These you can buy on the Amazon for like really cheap for a whole package of them. Uh, so I have a bunch lying around. I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, really interesting. Now that doesn't divert the air. Uh, it's still, you can still see these fluttering out here, but with significantly less intensity and the air is dispersed all around. Uh, so I, I think that makes a fantastic option. So if I put a regular furnace filter here and this is contained within a box, I think that would work really, really well as a secondary and final filter uh, before the air comes back into the room, into the shop. Also, a little benefit is this would provide a little bit of filtering as well. So I would have stage one is the cyclone, stage two is this filter, and stage three is the final filter uh, before it comes back into the room. Okay, I have a plan moving forward. Now I just need to build the whole thing. So the next little challenge is how do I get a pipe to connect into this uh, opening here? <clears throat> the theory that I've got is I'm going to take a four inch PVC cap. I will drill out <clears throat> or cut a hole in the middle there, obviously, that'll be that, that size. But I thought that would give me a nice uh, little bit of extra room here. I can take out these rivets and replace them with bolts and bolt that onto there. Then I can slip a PVC pipe into this uh, and uh, give me the connection that I want. Now a little quirky thing about this particular blower is that it's got these ridiculous uh, security bolts holding the thing together. So it looks like a standard torque screw, but not quite. What it's got in the middle is a little hole. So fortunately, I happen to have a set of secure bits that I got from a local surplus store uh, for 20 bucks. So I get all the weird little uh, screw heads that are used in a bunch of little devices. So I'm gonna take this thing off now, uh, get rid of these rivets, find a way to um, I'll mark the holes on that, drill them out, and then cut the hole in the middle. Okay, there's the cover. So I'll um, knock these little, little rivets out. Looks like they may need to be cut off. This looks like a put on once only kind of a fitting. But we'll take that off, preserve the screen, uh, mark the holes here, put the screen back on and uh, hold the whole thing together with some bolts. So we'll get on with that part now, taking out the screen. I'm going to use the Dremel tool to try and knock these little aluminum uh, heads off and then push it through this way. I think it's a little bit easier than trying to uh, figure out how this is going to work. I don't know. I'll try it this way first. Let's see what happens on this side, on the inside. I mean, what could possibly go wrong?
Well, it's interesting, the heat from that operation actually came through on the rivet on this side. So, I have to be kind of careful with this. Let me see if I can punch that out now. Sorry, my hand is exactly in the way, isn't it? I'm going to move the camera around. All right, that's a little better, although the camera may shake a little bit as I bang away on this thing. Oh, very interesting. certainly helps when you hit the rivet. I was missing the rivet. There we are. Okay. We'll do a few more of those. I think we got it. I'll come back when I got them all out. All right, the uh, rivets are out. So now I can mark where I want to put uh, the holes on this. And that's too big to go through. You have a pencil. Okay, got the uh, holes marked, six holes around the outside. Uh, we'll take out a, that piece in the middle, and then this should just be able to bolt on. So let me go get uh, all that set up in the drill press. All right, we're just gonna put the six holes in here, and I'll probably swap out for a hole saw to do this big one in the middle. Here's our six perimeter bolt holes. Um, let me put in a hole saw to do that middle part.
I'm off by a little bit and I'm gonna have to find a better way to clamp this. I'm not happy with how that's been, gonna be held down. So yeah. let me come back in a minute. All right, I uh, got that cut out. I'm sorry, I didn't get that on camera. Uh, we now have this piece cut. Uh, we have the holes uh, around the perimeter. I'm just gonna sand this off here a little bit to make that smooth. Uh, and then we'll get some bolts, put it on, see how it looks. So I'm using some small uh, three by 12 millimeter bolts. I don't know if you can see that very well. Well, suffice to say they are three by 12 millimeter bolts. Uh, a little blurry. Going through the screen, the orange plastic housing, coming up through the hole that was initially drilled and then just putting the nut on top. So I've got three in, I've got three more to go, not including this one. And I'll come back when I got it all tightened up. All right, we're permanently fixed. PVC pipe can just go in there now. Let's put this uh, cover back on the blower. All right, let's plug her in and see what happens. Looks like we're up and running.